Hello and welcome to the pet room. Indeedy, David Bradley here, and I'm about to try and extract some ram chips from this board, which says it was made 45 years ago. Hard to imagine. Anyway, soldering iron is heating. I have sockets, but they will not go in this time. I have chips, but they will not go in this time. What I need to do is identify the chips. UE4. This one. And UE5. That one. Now, the next trick is... As I flip the board over, and I keep my finger on the chip, second chip down, right there, put a little black mark, and I believe that. Is the other. I will double check. UE5, UE4. Okay. So let's see, where are we? All right, now that I have that. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure. I'm going to see here if I can zoom in this other thing while it's filming. And now that I see what I'm doing, I don't believe I can. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty good. All right, so the soldering iron has been heating for a little while. What a good. But I'm not sure if it is ready as of yet. Now. I have a light above me. I might want to move it a little to get the best view here. So, 21 14 chips seem to be a popular thing for failure. <coughs> I have my D soldering iron. I'm going to place it on one of these. We have the ball squeeze. And I'm going to see if it's ready. And the answer seems to be no. Not ready yet. But oftentimes, I try and have a little solder around. Just a little bit. There's some solder. So that if I place this on the iron and I see that it melts, then that is a sign that we are getting there. These are 18 pin chips. It's a funny thing. Because I recently went online and I found this wonderful thing. Wonderful thing. With all these. All these little chips. Or right, sockets. Oh, look. Bunches of them. And I believe, I really thought, that I had ones that would fit. 
And it ends up that. Well, that's funny. Now, let's run it. I think it's 18. Let me double check here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Now, this thing says. Ugh. I should just take this and let the desoldering iron do its trick. Oh, there. We'll rip the plastic open. There's a thing in the way here. Because I looked at another thing I got, and then I thought, oh, it doesn't have. See, it, it keeps track, of, or it tells you how many things it has and how many things they have. I think I got it mixed up. So it says... 6 pin, 18, 8 pin, 12, 14, pin, 6, 16 pin, 6, 18 pin, 6. So there should be in here some 18 pin sockets. But I, I opened up another thing and I didn't find that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20. Let's look at these. Oh, already bent. One, two, three. Oh, there's some here. But look, they're already bent. I don't know if you can see that. Well, that is not exactly a feature I was looking for. But at least I have some extras. If the other ones don't. I don't have enough of them. Hmm. I'll have to look at my other things here. I will set those out there because I got others, and I'm sure. Oh, maybe I do have extra. Okay, good. All right, for sure, for sure, for sure, it should be hot enough by now. Now, if you're looking at this thing, I have it on. Yes, it's, it's the thing that was underneath the VIC-20 that I'm stealing chips out of. All right. How are we doing? We are in position. I will push gently and suck. Now, if you try and push the pin to the center, that did not suck well at all. I could just, sometimes you just know it just it just didn't that one well. oh squeeze the ball away from the board and always be ready nope that did not go well to unsqueeze When you think you've got it all nice and hot. That, I don't believe that went well either. Oh well, we'll come back. Some of them that are on a bigger bus. No, that didn't. That just didn't. Sometimes you just feel it. It just didn't do it. Maybe I need to make sure I'm on a bit of an angle. Yes, that went well. Although I think I need to push that over. All right. We're in. No, that did not. That did not suck well at all. It just didn't. It's funny. I was sure I was going to bring down here. That was better. Some better glasses. For this fine... Fine. Close up work. That went well, and maybe I did. But where did I put them? This is perhaps not. No, that didn't go well. This is perhaps not the moment.
that went well to find them, but I should find them. Bet you they're over there somewhere. All right. That did not go well. Some of them just don't. That went well. All right, iron down. Shake out the hand a little and have a look. Maybe I will slide over here. And look to see if these glasses are a little stronger. And I'm not sure if they are or if they are not. Oh, okay. Yeah, these ones are. Let's keep them handy. Maybe I will bring these ones over here as well. Yeah. I think those might be a little stronger, but these, these are epic for really getting a close look. These are better as well. All right, we're going for the second row. That was beautiful. 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 Mind you, I might have to just get down here, give those a little, they do seem to be very close to the side. Well, I'll just keep, I'll keep sucking stuff out and we'll see about the fine tuning. Now, to get a really good look, I will put on these beastly things. Now I'm kind of in the light, but I can see very well that indeed a bunch of these Actually, I don't really need to squeeze the ball, but a bunch of these are way over at the side. And they need to be heated and pulled towards the center. And sometimes it goes well. Boy, sometimes it just doesn't. But you don't want to have... Maybe I will try and suck a little more solder out of that one. I'm trying to pull. Okay, got a little bit of pull on there. Why do I think that one is going to be trouble? This one, too. Looks like I can use a pull. 
which I really didn't get done there. That went better. Of course, the other thing you always want to make sure is you don't hurt the board. Funny how some of them you get them, they just don't want to move. Which probably why maybe there's a little solder still holding them in place. And they don't. You don't want to try and try a chip out and hurt the board. Because really, otherwise, what's the point? Okay. This is looking pretty good. Oh. But I think... This pin here needs a little more help. That was maybe this one. But this one for sure. I'm going to try and do a little more suckage here. And maybe this oh, you know what? It may be. It might be. Oh man, it's funny as I look at this side of these, it looks like there's an awful lot of solder still holding on. It does. So here, what is this crap? By the way, that, sorry, the recording got screwed over here. This phone is doing weird things, very strange things, where it's doing stuff that it's not, I'm not doing. Anyway, I was recording there. I'm going to give this a little pry, but I don't think it's going to come. Oh, I could be mistaken. Let me see here. Where am I? Ah, looky. Looky, looky. All right, let's see. If we do a little wiggle. And a gentle pry. And UE5 is out. I will show it to you. There it is. UE5 is out. 
Now, it is tempting at this moment as I look at this. Maybe take a break, let the iron sit there. And open up this pit. I will verify that this pit is working because it will come up and turn on. Now, I'm always worried about doing what I'm about to do with chips that have just been removed because their pins are not always the smoothest and the best. I really don't want to screw this up. I said screw up the socket because I don't want to have to do this again. Anyway, let me, with great care and reverence, pry this RAM chip that I have already replaced out of its socket. And it is out. And I will set it here. And as I glance at the socket, it looks okay. And these pins are looking okay. So I will make note of the witness mark. I'm going to look over here. Yeah, we're still recording. That looks pretty good. But I don't know when it stopped recording. It did weird stuff there, that phone. And I'm going to line this up. Leave the socket and push it in. It does seem the legs on it are not really terribly long. So do I think this is actually making connection? Maybe. Let's see what happens. Aha! We've got weird stuff. Just a moment. I don't know how well you can see that, but that is weird. Now, before I decide for sure that that chip is bad, which I think it is, I am going to just double check here that I actually had it in properly. Because the legs do seem to be a little short. But they seem okay. And the socket looks okay. So I'm going to do this again. Maybe with a little more sideways pressure. Oh boy, it really doesn't feel like it's going in as far as it might anyway. I'll turn it on and see what we see. And it's the same. It's the same weird stuff that it was. So, I've never seen anything quite like that before. So now I wonder, is it both of these RAM chips? It usually isn't. Or is it just the one like that? It's almost like a little Christmas thing. It's got little snow coming down. <clears throat> Interesting. Very. Remove this ram chip. And replace it with the one that I took out. Always watching over the witness mark. And then I'm going to turn this back on. It went in a little crunchy. Okay. And it's good. So now... Do I change them both? 
excellent question. Because, you know, I mean, I've got it right here. And for me to check it again in the other drive means I have to put it in the drive, turn the drive on, see what happens. And if it doesn't happen, take it all the way out, take it back here, and bring it over here. But in the other things I've done, it's only ever been the one chip that is bad. And there is one bad chip, which I will put in a bag marked bad chips. Well, what to do, 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 what to do. Um, okay, where is the cord? The desoldering iron has come out. So we'll let that cool. And then... I believe I will take a socket, much like this, and line it up with the holes. And check and make sure that they all seem to be coming out the other side. And they do. There's the socket right there. But it is not secure yet. So, I figure what I'm going to do in the next video is solder this, this socket in and then try another RAM chip and put the dry back together. And da -da 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 -da. So it's a gamble. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, well, you'll see. Anyway, stay tuned for the next exciting episode, where we'll see if this gamble paid off. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.